This is Gene Key, KDD News. MyHighPlains.com reported local rail engineers are ready to go on strike. The strike is scheduled to begin at 11 p.m. tonight unless it's stopped by President Obama. The Brotherhood of Locomotive Engineers, the union that represents BNSF workers in Amarillo, said that the action was voted on by 97% of its members nationwide. The voter turnout for this referendum was the highest in decades, according to a release posted on its website. At issue is a new contract that would cut health benefits for rail workers. Talks on the benefits started months ago. They were stopped with a 30-day cool-off period in September, which will end tonight. If President Obama decides to appoint a presidential emergency board to look over the demands before the time ends, it will halt a strike by all parties. A 23-year-old Amarillo man is dead after crashing his motorcycle into two cars Wednesday morning. NewsChannel10.com reports Chaz Chapman was eastbound on Amarillo Boulevard, according to Amarillo Police. They say when he approached North Buchanan, he ran a red light. He struck two vehicles driving on Buchanan. He was pronounced dead at the scene. Police say speed is believed to have been a factor in the crash. From WFAA.com, some very good economic news from Austin. Texas tax revenues have bounced back to levels nearly equal to pre-recession levels, indicating that the economy is in recovery here in Texas. The state's chief revenue estimator said Wednesday. John Helleman said taxes on retail sales, motor vehicles, and oil production are near 2008 levels the last year before the recession. Only natural gas taxes are lagging. The state's rainy day fund, which is financed with oil and gas revenues, is expected to reach roughly $7 billion by the next legislative session in 2013. This is Gene Key, KDD News.